Step E is to tie the back taper and the front taper together. We've got an area here above and behind the ear where it's heavy, long, or bulky. I want to tie these two areas together. I use my middle finger to fold the ear down out of the way. I insert my comb, tip it out, and roll it back. And what you see is two short guys with a long furry thing in the middle. We connect the dots. We tie it in. We tie it through. We taper center back to the back of the ear from the front hairline to the top of the ear. I can rough in my lining or edging just to help me see this a little bit better. But what you'll see is as we run into or intersect with the previously layered interior, what we promised, we layered first, we tapered second, and we got the blend for free. Not only did the blend happen automatically, but look where it fell. Might need a whack or two with a blending shear to call it perfect, but it fell exactly at the widest point of the head, the occipital bone, the parietal ridge, or the crest line. We worked center back to the back of the ear, front hairline to the top of the ear, and tied the two areas together above the ear. Now, as we love to say in the professional beauty industry, repeat the process on the opposite side side.